How many of you guys can, uh, in another window, in another window, run in another window? You can keep Metasploit open, that's okay. In another window, run 322 and 324. I mean, I'm sorry, 332 and 334. All it does is just restart Veil. In another window? Yeah, just in another window or duplicate session. Okay. Yeah, you just want to get back to Veil. That's all you're doing. All right, so you got bail back open? Yep. Okay, you see now here where it says check VT? Yep. Check in virus total for payload hashes. Uh-huh. No payloads found in virus total. Press any key to continue. Uh-huh. So what happened was rather than sending rather than sending the payload to virus total you can take the hash and check it in virus total so i'll give you guys an example So if I go to virus total, normally what you would do is you would upload the file, right? Virus total checks it against 56 different antiviruses, yeah? Well, the problem is when you give the file to virus total, virus total gives that virus information to all of the antivirus vendors. So let's mm -hmm. say you're trying to get around Symantec today and it works. Well, now you just gave the file to Symantec. Because virus total gives the results to each of the vendors. No good. Right? <laughs> so, so what you can do is you can say, well, I want to just check the hash. If you just check the hash, they say, yes, this hash is in our database. No, it's not. Make sense? Okay. Surprisingly easy, huh? Yep. You know, it makes you kind of like, you got to be kidding me. That can't be it. Okay. All right, so you guys have your interpreter prompt? Yes. Now right here where it says this? Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to hit enter a few times. Okay. Now what I want you to do is line 1772. You guys remember how to set this up, right? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do line 1372, sorry. And I'm going to copy everything up to the IP address. You see what I'm doing? I'm going to copy everything up to the IP address. Everything up to right here. 
right? Just so I can type in my IP address. Then I'm going to copy the rest and hit enter. So watch. So I paste in everything up to my IP address. I can hit enter. Now I'm going to grab the last two lines. All right, are we back? Um, yeah. <laughs> so you can come all the way up to right here. Now I'm going to paste in these last two lines. So we're doing 173? Uh -huh. We're doing uh, 1372. Did you, did you submit your payload to Virus Total? Are you here? Let me log on. Now, just prompted me for escalation, so I just pressed OK. Okay, so let's 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 make sure I'm I'm caught up with who did what. Did you do the veil piece? Someone just walked in, and I don't know if they were here for the veil. Okay, no, this is uh, rolling. Uh, yeah, no, I just walked in. I didn't do. Okay, so you didn't you didn't do the virus total like we just did. No, no, I didn't do anything yet. No. Okay, so here let's do this. Let's have you get uh, another window, right? You don't need to close Metasploit or anything like that, but you want to get another window. <clears throat> okay. Okay, and you want to run thirteen thirty two and thirteen thirty four. Okay, thirteen thirty two. Okay. <laughs> In a second. Okay, I got the bell version uh, menu. Okay, now just do a check BT. Check. BT. Okay, enter. Taking virus total. <laughs> Press any key to continue. No payload is found on virus total. Okay. So the payload that you built, it uploaded a hash, not the actual <laughs> payload. So it took a it took a hash of the payload and mm -hmm. sent it to virus total. Okay. The difference is if you upload a file to virus total it gives your file to all the antivirus vendors. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're trying to bypass Symantec. Right. You do fail and you bypass Symantec. If you give payload.exe to VirusTotal, VirusTotal is going to give your file to all the vendors. Mm -hmm. Now, if you just upload the hash... You just say yes. This hash is in the data. Excuse me, in the database, or no, it's not. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So this is why guys who use Veil are always so serious about saying, please don't upload the payload, mm -hmm. right? Because if you start uploading the payloads, you make it bad for everyone else. Right, okay. You understand? Mm hmm So you can see, you know, that uh, you can start building payloads, and you're usually going to get around the antivirus, you know, fairly well. Mm hmm Yeah, you're 
usually get around them. So after the, I get that screen, after I get the build, uh, just press any key to continue? Yeah, just press any key con to continue. And I got the menu option. Mm. Right. Now I want you to go back to your Metasploit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in your Metasploit, you should have already had a session, right? Yes. Okay, so all we did was pick up kind of like we did the, uh, yesterday and just mm -hmm. do the privilege escalation. So hit enter a few times. Okay. Then you can paste in everything up to right here. Right? So you can copy everything from 1372 to the start of 1375, right? Then you put in your own IP address. All right. Uh, yeah. Copy that. Let me just put it in notepad just to make sure I got it correct. Yep, and then you the just put it all in. The IP is of the local host, right? Yep, IP is of your Linux box. All right. Okay. I changed the IP. It's just now copy and paste it to to minus floor, right? Yep. Okay, and then you remember that you have to jump into the window and click OK, right? Oh, yes. Uh, to the windows, yes, yes. Yeah. All right, I didn't see the pop up yet. Okay, so that's because I gotta click enter, okay. Okay, I see it. And I gotta be fast, yep. You gotta be fast. <laughs> okay, session two open. Great. Okay. Let's keep uh hacking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're at 11. Uh, let's see, I have to run a quick errand at lunch. So can we do uh, 11 to 12.15? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's do an hour and 15 again. Mm -hmm. Take lunch, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks, buddy. Bye.